Hey everybody, here we are again, and it's a pint of Tinsel Tours, but I'm not here to talk about that. Something completely different. Shaving. Now for years, when I first started shaving, I just used disposable razors, the, the double, double bladed disposable razors. I only had to shave every week or three weeks to begin with. I quite quickly moved up to a disposable cartridge because the cartridges were cheaper than the disposable razors. This is actually a, a Gillette Contour Plus. Not sure if it's the original one that I bought. I bought two over the years. One's gone missing. I don't know. I think I might have given it to the son when he started shaving. I said you can have that because I've got two. Which was a mistake because then we got... Yeah, no, I'm not going there. Uh, yeah. But, for quite a number of years, I've not been entirely satisfied with this system because once I started shaving the head I found that if I didn't shave at least every third day the cartridge very quickly like within got clogged up so if I didn't shave either second day or third day, if I shaved fourth day, I'd end up having to unclog the cartridge. Very difficult to do because it didn't swish in the water and ended up having to poke bits out, shall we say, with a dental floss stick. So I was thinking about getting just a standard razor, a safety razor, not one of them cut throat things. Jesus, imagine that on the top of the head. I'll be cut to ribbons because I can't see what I'm doing. I don't know if, certainly at the back there, no way I can see what I'm doing. But then I thought, nah, the price, I've got to buy. I mean, those weren't cheap, the, the actual cartridges were fairly cheap. To actually swap over to a new system, I'd have to buy, again, the handle to go with the, the blades. And then, it's about a month ago now, just over a month, five weeks ago. More than five, five weeks ago, because it was plus delivery. I couldn't get hold, I could, a 10-pack replacement of the cartridges. £17 was the cheapest I could find, and that was the cheapest at the time. So that spurred me on to look for a new system. And previously, it was a bit of a faff. I remember my dad's old razor he used to have a, a screw, or rather a nut at the top there, which took everything apart, everything fell a bits. You put a blade in, assembled everything, put the nut back on. And I thought, that's going to be costly, and it's going to be a bit hard work. Turns out, that, the actual razor handle, plus a pack of ten blades, cost £12.72 got it written down. So I bought that plus another pack of 10 blades for £16.92 which was cheaper than a pack of 10 of those. Job done. So I've been testing it for 
five weeks now and it didn't come with any instructions I was a bit baffled for starters well for starters how to get into the blade box because it's like eh, eh, nothing's coming apart until you realize quite cleverly that of course it's not going to do it now because uh, the wrong way around I'll show you the actual movie side they slide out voila dead easy put that carefully to one side now then it was a case of how do we get it in Ooh, ooh. twist the bottom top lifts up blade in and out dead easy we've also thought about this on the actual blade put it the right way up looking for some sword there's a logo and it's on the same side on both sides and on the razor there's a logo so if you stick logo to logo and it's literally just place the blade in twist shut you're sorted you know which side of the blade that you're using so if you start with the logo side When that goes blunt, you can then just spin over and use the non-logo side. Dead simples. Very impressed. You might have noticed. Not only that, I decided to give it a good test. So it worked fine. Two to three days shaving, no problem. I gave it a five day test. Shaved pretty well, all right. Just swished it into the water, not a problem. About a six or seven day test, it did clog. But then, just opened it up that much, swished it in the water, voila, unclogged. Start again. So that is job done. I was then, I mean, I was sold on gimmicks with these. The, they always said twice the amount of blades the less need to less strokes less razor burn well to be honest I find that going with one of these is just the same as going with one of those so you're actually providing two strokes in one one stroke so the gimmick's a bit of a fallacy. Admittedly, this is a little bit easier because it does have an adjustable head. So especially when you're doing top of head, it adjusts automatically. Whereas that, it does take a little bit of learning. Not much, as I say, within third shave in, it was just a straight in no problem and that's that's dry I have shaved tonight so there's virtually nothing on there anyway but it just goes to show that it is very easy to use I have since found these for they were £6.99 but you had to buy a pack of two you end up with 20 blades so it doesn't really matter but it's still not as cheap as a pack of 10 a pack of 10 blades was £4.20 so £4.20 £6.99 it's a couple of quid
quid more anyway, isn't it? Now, let's find another gimmick on the new stuff is that as you take the razors out of the top, this is one that I've disassembled completely, taken all the razors out. I've got them over here, all the blades. They slide back in dead easy. As you take one out of the top, you can slide used blade. I'll just show you. I've been using this for five weeks. Piece of paper. I consider that as being used, but as you see, that's still damn sharp. But it's starting to drag a little bit at the point where similar sort of time length about five weeks I change the cartridge on the Gillette because it starts to drag you can feel it starting to drag and if you keep on eventually you're gonna end up with blotchy skin where it's started to actually scrape your skin away so all bled at the bottom there's a second slit and the old blade drops in there and it's held in now there is a piece of card that goes in the top there but it doesn't seem to want to fall out you can tweak it out. Uh, right. Should have perhaps shown that first, but I'll show it now. Turn it down. In. I don't know if you can see that. There's guiding veins that allow the non-used or the unused razor blades so those guides just allow the razor blade to be lifted up and come straight out so it's quite well designed with a packet you don't have to worry about your, your spent razors, razor blades in the bin, because you put them in there and it's a nice sharpie box. All in all, I'm well impressed with that. For £12.72 plus a pack of 10 blades, I wasn't expecting that much engineering. That oh, he's very clever. Nice and shiny. Good to go. And I think I mentioned that if it clogs, you can just half open it, shake it in a sink full of water, clears it. Superb. I wish I'd bought one years ago now. Right. Anyway, if you're thinking about it, I did try and buy it on Amazon, but there was an age restriction. I don't know why. I'm more than 16. I may not look it, but I am older than 16. And I'm sure my account should have mentioned that I'm over 16. I ended up buying it straight from Wilkinson's sword. You can put your age in. That'll problem. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe. See you next time. Cheers. Bye.